Are you tired of having to constantly eat cooked pork chops after running around your Minecraft world? Or having to craft hundreds of firework rockets every day for your elytra? Well, in this video, you'll learn about 9 alternative methods to travel long distances in Minecraft that don't require any of that. You can use any of these strategies to get to the Ocean Monument or Woodland Mansion that you just found thousands of blocks away from your base. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video so you can learn how I traveled 50,000 blocks instantly with just a simple press of a button. Have you ever wished you had an instant teleportation chamber in Minecraft like you've seen in movies before? Well, let me introduce you to the Ender Pearl Stasis Chamber. This six block deep hole of water with soul sand at the bottom and a trap door is all you need to make one of these futuristic contraptions. By throwing an ender pearl straight down into the water, you can keep it there until you're ready to activate the trap door with redstone. These are a great addition to add to your base, especially if you're looking for an easy way to get from one side to the other. Just make sure you have enough hearts before you use it. If you're a bedrock player looking for a crazy fast method to travel across your world, I bet you already have one of these mobs sitting in your stable waiting to be used. This may look like an ordinary horse, but you'd be surprised when you put a saddle on it and take off at Mach 10. This bedrock exclusive bug is performed by throwing a couple speed potions onto your horses before breeding them. By doing this, the baby horse inherits the final speed values of its parents, which is increased by the speed potion effect. Then all you have to do is rinse and repeat this method until you have a ridiculously fast horse that you can travel all around the world with. Just be careful if you try and bring them into the nether. That moment when you get your first elytra can feel very exciting. That is, until you realize that you need a constant supply of firework rockets to keep yourself in the air. But did you know there's actually two alternatives to rockets which can help you keep from falling into the void? The first option is to find yourself a trident and enchant it with Riptide. By using this in combination with your elytra and a small pool of water or a rainy day, you can launch yourself into the sky with a move that's guaranteed to make you dizzy. On the other hand, the second method goes all the way back to when elytra was first introduced into Minecraft in 1.9. Back then, you couldn't boost yourself with rockets, so the player had to use a bow with the Punch 2 enchantment to keep themselves in the air. By spamming arrows up into the air and hitting yourself with them, you're able to knock yourself back with enough momentum to keep yourself in flight. But make sure to bring enough arrows or else you'll find yourself flying without any fuel. Before we get to the next fastest method of travel in Minecraft, I want to know if any of you have already used any of these systems in your own Minecraft game. Leave a comment about your favorite way to get around your world, and let me know if you already use any of these methods I've talked about so far. I'll pick my favorite new idea and make a video about it. But for now, let's get back to the video. Another fast method of travel that a surprising amount of Minecraft players still don't know about has to do with the hellish underworld that we call the Nether. You might be asking, how can the nether help me travel faster? And that's because every block you traverse in the nether is equal to 8 blocks in the overworld. This means that no matter how you travel through the nether, whether it's flying with an elytra or even just walking, you're doing it 8 times faster than you would in the overworld. By getting on top of the nether roof with an ender pearl and a ladder at Y level 127, you can move your portal up here and have instant access to this giant flat building space. Up here, you can build all sorts of cool things like a gold farm, hoglin farm, or even a piglin bartering hall. This technique can be applied to any of those other methods in this video that don't include water to be 8 times faster than they were in the overworld. If you've ever dreamt of running as fast as the Flash in Minecraft, then this method of travel is for you. With a pair of boots with the Death Strider and Soul Speed enchantments, and a dolphin nearby to give you the dolphin's grace effect, you can reach speeds of up to 140 blocks per second. The secret lies in the path under your feet. A layer of soul sand and waterlogged slabs is enough to get you going at almost the speed of sound. And if that isn't quite fast enough for you, then drink a speed 2 potion before you take off and watch as you run across your world at light speed. Just make sure to watch where you're going. One of the oldest techniques of fast traveling in Minecraft has you sitting in one of these guys, but not in the way that you're thinking of. Instead of riding in a minecart on a long, boring track across your world, you can build this instead. The piston bolt utilizes some technical features of Java Edition that allow a perfectly timed piston to push your minecart along a route of diagonal tracks. 
This concept might seem a little complicated, but all it requires is some pistons, repeaters, and minecart rails. Because the piston bolt doesn't require water to operate it, it can be built on top of the nether roof for increased overworld travel speed. Many servers have implemented this method in impressive ways, like the Psycraft or Wavetech servers, and maybe you can include them in your own nether hub next time you build one. Up next we have some more of the fastest ways to travel in Minecraft 1.20, but before we get to that, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell so you can check out my other videos when they come out. Also leave a like so other people can learn about the fastest speeds in Minecraft. Now let's get back to the video. If you're a seasoned Minecraft player, you may have seen this mob a fair few times before. Maybe you've killed a few of them while defending a village or in a raid farm, but I bet you haven't used them like this before. By trapping a Ravager in a minecart, aligning yourself perfectly, and blocking with a shield at the right time, you can be launched over a thousand blocks across your world. The higher up you build this contraption, the farther you'll end up traveling, but make sure you have one set up on the other side or else it'll be a long walk back. If you're looking for a more simple version, you can also set up your Ravager like this and use a llama to launch the both of you across the world. Up next, boats haven't always been a useful part of Minecraft, but back when they were introduced, they would break if you even looked at them the wrong way. But nowadays, they're an integral part of one of the fastest methods of travel in Minecraft 1.20. By laying a path of blue ice in front of you and riding in a boat, you can incrementally increase your speed up to 72 blocks per second. You can gather blue ice by mining the bottom of these icebergs in a frozen ocean biome or by crafting them with 9 packed ice blocks. If you build your boat highway on top of the nether roof, then you can go almost 600 blocks per second with this trick. So go start farming that blue ice now. Before we get to the last method of travel in Minecraft, I want to invite you to my brand new Discord server. By following the link in the description, you can talk to me personally in text or voice channels on my new server, Planet Christian. It's still in the process of being set up, and I'm still adding new features, but I'm hoping as time goes on we'll be able to build a good community of kind and knowledgeable players to hang out with. Make sure to click the link in the description and introduce yourself when you join, and I can't wait to meet you guys there. Now let's get back to the fastest way to travel in Minecraft 1.20. This ender pearl is traveling so fast that it requires chunk loaders to keep it rendered enough to hit its target destination. This method of travel can get the player up to speeds of 14,000 blocks per second. The design by XCOM 6000 even perfectly aligns the ender pearl for you so that it always lands in the same spot after every shot. A lot of people will build these cannons on top of the nether roof to be able to travel 50,000 blocks with a single press of a button, just like on the Psycraft server. You can even build a simple version of one of these cannons in the overworld if you'd like to make it from one side of your base to the other. Just make sure there's no mountains in the way. If you made it this far, I really hope you enjoyed 9 of the fastest ways to travel in Minecraft 1.20. Let me know which method was your favorite and subscribe so you can see my next video on unknown mobs in the Minecraft universe. Make sure to also leave a like so that more people can learn about the 9 fastest ways to travel in Minecraft. And lastly, check out this video here and this other one here. These are two of the videos that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy the most, so make sure to go watch them. Other than that, see you guys.